What's going on people? Today I'm going to be jumping into how to actually set up live streaming in OBS, aka open broadcast software. I do plenty of live streams on the channel and uh, you know more or less a lot of people over the course of these live streams have asked me, Jack, how do you do it? How do you set it up? I'd love to set it up uh, you know, similar to you. So today's a quick one, maybe a you know, 10 to 15 minute max tutorial, basically breaking down how I do it. So on screen is OBS and uh, I I've actually downloaded a whole separate screen recorder called like Screencast or something so that I can accurately screen record my screen recorder, which usually I also use OBS to do screen recording as well as streaming because it doubles as a, you know, start recording or start streaming. It's got two different options. You can uh, either create output files uh, as in create a physical file or, uh, you know, you could just stream it and create like a, you know, online file or whatever by uh, live streaming. Anyways. Essentially, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is an example scene. Ignore all my kind of scenes. So everything will look kind of fresh for you. I just set this up because this is kind of what I'm going to be walking you through creating today. All right. And without further ado, we're going to be jumping into it. So pretty much what I want to do is actually go here to plus and I want to click add and it's going to add a new scene. And let's actually call this um, example scene two. And we're just going to open it up. Now, when you make a new scene, nothing will be in there, which means if you start start recording, you know, it'll, it'll do nothing. In fact, you probably even haven't even set your output settings or anything, right? So first off, let's build a scene and then finally we'll set like our output settings so it actually records it properly for us, all right? But what we wanna do is go down here to plus again, but in the actual sources, not the scenes, because the scenes is, you know, the creating the actual scene, the sources is the stuff inside of the scenes. So we go to sources, this little thing here, go to plus, actually go to video capture device. Let's go ahead and click it, let's press okay. Now it's gonna load up here. What's going on, Jack, how you doing? I'm very good, thank you for asking. And uh, it's pretty much loaded it up a, a little bit weird. So first off, let's go to the resolution, go to custom and type in one. Uh, so it's already jumped to 1920 by 1080. If you have only got a 1080p, uh, 1080p or a 720p webcam, do 1280 by 720, whatever. Then let's go to configure. And um, you know, some of this stuff might be on by default, but everything looks okay right now, okay? So we have to actually just press okay, press okay. And we have actually created a video Ooh, excuse me, record of us. So that's me right now. What's going on? How you doing, Jack? I'm doing very good. Uh, then what we want to do is actually create a audio input so that we can actually have our microphone right down there, which uh, you can see there's no levels coming up here. So there's nothing being recorded. So let's go over here. Let's go to add a audio input capture, press OK. And let's actually just go ahead and set our main microphone and press OK. And just like that, we now have waves coming on right there. And actually what's that, what that's also going to do is add a desktop audio, right? So for example, um, you know, if, if we open up Twitter right here, but then if we actually go over here to YouTube and just kind of find a random YouTube video and start playing it, right? So whatever this Adam 22 no jumper live stream is, if we start playing this, we should get waves here. So let's wait till it loads and have a look. There we go. So just like that, we saw the waves pop up in the desktop audio. That means audio is being captured from both our microphone ourself, which is the input and the desktop audio, which is the output of say whatever YouTube video you're watching or whatever like that. But just like our example scene over here, which is frozen because we're using the camera in another scene, we want to create a, uh, you know, a screen record and uh, then have us as a little face cam in the bottom right hand corner, the bottom left hand corner, wherever you want to do basically like my normal videos. Okay. So what we want to do to do that is actually just go over to first off the plus and let's actually add a display capture. Okay. So let's click display capture. Then let's basically click OK. And what it's going to say is, do we want to record this one, which is going to create this crazy uh, infinite windows, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and record our other window, which is actually my, uh, my email. And, uh, you know, I'll actually just make a new tab right there. So you don't have to look on my random emails and we'll just press OK. So it's actually just doing that. But we want a face cam in the bottom right. So what we want to do is go ahead and get our video capture device, drag it to the top layer so that it's on top of everything. Right click, go to filters. So again, just so you know, no one's getting a uh, too too fast. Right click, go to filters, click it. And what we want to go is down here to effect filters, press add. And let's actually go to image mask slash blending. Press OK. Awesome. Press OK again. And let's actually go here to a path. And let's find this circle, which will be downloadable in the description. If you want to download it, this is how we're going to create the circle. Uh, basically what this does is it creates kind of a green screen around us. Now what it's done is done a square around me. All we want to do is go here to color channel, go to alpha mask instead of alpha mask color channel, alpha mask, alpha channel, click it. And it's going to crop it into a circle just like our image was. And uh, that is a very, very simple process. You can download that green screen circle down below and simply follow through this method. And just like that, What's going on, Jack? How you doing? Doing very good. <laughs> uh, we can actually drag the adjustment red things, bring it down here and start kind of sizing it up. And we can put it down here. We can put it in the left. We can put it wherever we want. For me, I usually put it down here in the right. Um, and there's actually another thing I'm going to leave downloadable in the description, which is if you plus it, go to image, 
you can actually go ahead and select the face cam circle, which is again, downloadable from the description, press okay. And this one is actually 4K, so it's completely off the screen, which is, this is only a 1080p thingamajig. So we're just gonna drag it in, drag it over and pop it right there. Then we can actually get our video file and just kind of drag it over and, uh, and move it around so that it obviously fits. And obviously if you wanna go frame by frame, you can uh, kind of drag it and then use the arrow keys. You see I'm holding the arrow keys so it goes frame by frame. And then you can get a more accurate, um, you know, fit so, so that it actually fits in. And just like that, we've created a face cam right there in the bottom right hand corner. But the thing is here, which, uh, you know, is kind of like an extra step is I like to always have a banner at the top because sometimes, you know, it looks a little bit messy, especially if you're doing a tutorial, having this kind of uh, thing below here. But I just realized two seconds, my, uh, my video is not perfectly fitting in. So we just want to make, make sure to get that perfect. We don't want it hanging off the side. But next up, we want to get the display capture and I want to just drag it down, right? So you see how, like if it's up, it has this whole bar here. I just want to drag it down until it's nearly gone and then use the arrow keys to kind of go down individually so that it's fully below. And then what I want to do is just import a banner. Now I will actually leave, uh, you know, the banner total downloadable in the description, um, but it's not going to be very applicable because I haven't actually recreated one. So if we go to image, add, go here and we actually find a banner, which is going to be the watching your videos banner. And I'll leave this example banner down below. Basically, I just like to add a banner on the top of my stuff so that it's got my Instagram and my Twitter. And then it also has a, um, uh, a, a what's called text. And in fact, to be honest, I'll leave a Photoshop uh, template down below so that you guys can customize this. Let's go the step further, two seconds. Let's create ourselves a custom banner. So if you guys have Photoshop, I'll leave the PSD down below. You could also download a free software like GIMP and use this. But if I load it up, I can go to my banner brand and then I can actually go here and customize it. And I can actually just go ahead and say that this is the example banner, right? So let's let's take the step further. This is a cool little addition, example banner. And then say, you know, it's it's not you, you know, you know, your Instagram. We go at example. Twitter, boom, whatever. Click that, that's example Twitter. It's not It's not me at the end of the day. It is example Insta. Um, example Insta, boom, drag it over, drag it, whatever. Drag it there, go ahead and find the, uh, the Instagram PNG. Drag it over a bit again. And um, again, it's not looking perfect, but you know, I've done this very quick for you guys. Uh, we then right click, yeah, we control S to save. I go to PNG. Example, banner, save it, go up here to, oh, that's my, my laptop over there doing some downloading, ignore that that noise. And we go to uh, wherever you saved it at for me, it's my SJAC co folder on my, uh, my desktop and we actually go ahead and uh, we find it, we bring it over to OBS and we drag it on the top. Then we can get the image for it and delete the banner that's below it, which was the uh, other banner before. And just like that, we have set up a pretty cool live stream. Now, before we end up, right before I show you, uh, you know, to, to record, you press start record, to, to start streaming, you press start streaming, but those will do nothing to you because you haven't set your settings. So let's set the settings accurately, okay? And uh, the way we're gonna set the settings is by actually going over here to file, Settings, who knew? <laughs> and there's two types of settings for the stream. You go here obviously to the stream and uh, you know you can set the service for me. I mainly do through YouTube so I can go to YouTube with Twitch, press Twitch. And then you go to your actual YouTube or your Twitch and you find the streaming key. There'll be a very obvious streaming key. This is how it obviously broadcasts the stream to the destina uh, destination basically, all right? So that's how you do the stream. And for output, you go to output. Um, basically replicate what I've got here. More or less what I do is the MP4. You set where the actual recording path is gonna be. For me, I've got a whole folder in my record drive called footage, which is just random stuff being recorded. Um, MP4, 160 audio bit rate software, X264. This stuff should be all automatic, 2,500 bit rate. And I'm gonna press okay. So then you could actually press start recording or start streaming and it will actually start broadcasting it to your destination, whether it be the footage drive that we said for the start recording or the literal YouTube channel for the streaming. And, uh, you know, just like that, we've essentially smashed it out of the park. Congratulations. If you made it to this point of the tutorial, uh, you know how to set up a scene in OBS and actually go ahead and, uh, you know, make it happen with the live stream and make it happen with the recording. So when I press start, stop recording right there, we can actually hunt down our footage file right here. We can actually go click it. And I've muted it now so we can just look at me 
very nice quality. It's got the example Twitter, the example Insta, the, the example banner. The whole thing's an example. And, uh, you know, obviously you have the, the ability to make the face cam bigger, smaller, whatever you want. And uh, to conclude, this has been a simple tutorial walking through this stuff. And the, um, oh, if we look, zoom in, look at that. The, 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 there's a little fuckery with the, uh, with, the, um, with, the, with the video. So I just got to pull that over a little bit more and just make sure, you know, things are precise for, you, for yourself, guys. So that it's not looking messy. But that right there is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial on walking and talking through how to set up streaming and recording in OBS, aka open broadcast software, hands out, you know, hands down my go-to when it comes to actually recording stuff and rec definitely comes to streaming stuff. Been using it for five years or something like that, and I thoroughly enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. If this is the first video you watched on my videos, I upload weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Much more content here that you'll enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, I assume, I don't know, you might hate all the videos, who knows, uh, but I'm, I'm willing to bet that you won't. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Peace out. <laughs>